Just a short trip from Tokyo in the coastal Shonan region of the Kanagawa Prefecture is a club at one with the sea. This is a team that has developed J-League icons and surfed plenty of ups and downs in Japanese football. This is Shonan Belmare. This club had a long and distinguished pre-J League history, including national championships and a pair of Emperor's Cups as a company club in the 1970s and 80s. But Belmare's J League debut had to wait until 1994, the second season of the competition. Upon transitioning to the professional game, the club adopted the name Belmare, taken from the Italian words bello, beautiful, and mare, sea, as a proud reference to the club's sublime coastal environs. Originally Belmare Hiratsuka, named after the city they're still based in today, the club eventually adopted the name Shonan Belmare after the entire coastal region, and it's a seaside character that is instantly recognizable in all they do. Belmare began their J-League journey in 94, and they did it in style, finishing fifth in the league and capturing the Emperor's Cup. They'd followed up the year after with an Asian Cup Winner's Cup, a victory that introduced the world to 18-year-old Hidetoshi Nakata, who scored a dramatic winner in the final. Because of goals like these, Nakata became not only the first great Belmare superstar, but also a modern Japanese football icon. On the back of Best 11 Honors and an Asian Footballer of the Year award in 1997, Nakata played every minute of Japan's first ever World Cup campaign in 1998 and earned himself a big money move to Europe. That was just the beginning for Nakata, but unfortunately for Shonan, it signaled the end of their glory days, as the very next season they were relegated to J2 where they'd spend the next decade. While Belmare have yo-yoed between J1 and J2 since then, they did pick up silverware in the form of second division titles in 2014 and 2017. And no Shonan fan will ever forget this moment on the 27th of October 2018 when 20-year-old Daiki Sugioka thumped the ball into the net and defeated Yokohama F. Marinos for the club's first ever J-League Cup. So the past has seen its share of both ups and downs, but what about the present? Belmare entered the 2021 campaign with plenty of work to do after finishing dead last in 2020. But this is a team that tends to trust the process. Bin Ukishima has been given patience as the boss and looks to have duly delivered improvement in 2021. Last year's team had a league low 29 goals in 34 matches, but winter signing Wellington has added a real goal scoring punch, and Kashima Antlers Loni Shintaro Nago the same. But Belmare have improved in the back as well, developing consistency and confidence in their young rearguard. This club has a legacy of trusting youth, regularly turning out some of the lowest age lineups in the competition, and the contributions this season of academy products like 18-year-old Satoshi Tanaka and 22-year-old Hirokazu Ishihara are a testament to their development plan. Add to that the at times brilliant play of 20-year-old Kosei Tani who's between the sticks on loan from Gambo Osaka, and you can see how young talent can shine in Shonan. But as ever, from the cases of Nakata to Wataru Endo, Shonan has not always found it so easy to hold onto its most spellbinding young talent. For example, last year's goal of a season winner Mitsuki Saito is now on loan in Russia, while teenage rising star Yamato Wakatsuki is now on loan in Switzerland. Add to that Toichi Suzuki's offseason move abroad to Switzerland as well, and you can see why Belmare must battle against turnover as much as their opponents some seasons. Nevertheless, in Belmare's fourth consecutive season in J1, they seem to have achieved some measure of comfort, if not guaranteed safety in the top flight. Though they've come to expect year-to-year -year turnover and the pressures of battles against relegation and moving players on, the choppy waters of the top tier just feel a little less turbulent these days. The seas are indeed calmer on the coast in 2021, for now anyway. And through a trust in youth and a tough to beat style of football, Shonan Belmare might just be able to chart a course back to brighter days. For a club all too frequently at sea and constantly battling the waves, that break from treading water would be welcome stability indeed. <laughs>